Incredible reporting from Ben and his team there. Now, Russia's invasion of Ukraine is undermining one of its main goals, weakening NATO. Its brutal war appears to be pushing more countries into the embrace of NATO's unmatched military capabilities. The alliance is composed of 30 countries, which you can see here in white. No, sorry, blue. I'm colorblind. Blue for you. And now pro-NATO sentiment is building in Finland, Sweden and Kosovo. Finland shares a 1300 kilometer land border with Russia, the largest in the EU, and it's tried to remain friendly with Moscow because of that. But now for the first time, opinion polling shows that a majority of Finns want to join NATO. Its president has asked NATO's secretary general for details on the steps for accepting new members, and its foreign minister tells Reuters that it'll submit a review to parliament in a few weeks. And in neighbouring Sweden, a country known for its neutrality, at least for the last 200 years, NATO membership is also gaining popular support. But those countries' leaders remain cautious, as Russia has warned both against joining the alliance. Kosovo, however, wants to act quickly. Its president is asking the US to help expedite its NATO membership. Kosovo's leaders worry that Russia is trying to destabilise the Western Balkans through its ally, Serbia. Now, Kosovo has seen enough conflict and atrocity to last several lifetimes, and it's now looking to NATO membership as a way to protect itself against the kind of war that we're seeing in Ukraine. I spoke with Kosovo's Prime Minister, Albin Kurti, and I began by asking him if Vladimir Putin should be tried for war crimes. These horrible crimes that we all see happening in uh, eastern uh, Ukraine are definitely war crimes. And it is up to investigators to also prove crimes against humanity and uh, genocide. So I believe that uh, Kremlin has been ordering all of this uh, war machinery into uh, these uh, crimes against unarmed civilians. And at the same time, uh, he should be facing sooner or later uh, tribunal, international tribunal. And Kosovo, um, like Ukraine, has not been granted NATO membership. So do you agree with Zelensky's comments that NATO appeasement of Russia or indecision over membership of countries have left Ukraine unprotected? And do you fear the same for your own country? Uh, Ukraine uh, needs uh, more help from NATO. And uh, from the very beginning, we have supported uh, uh, Ukrainian people in their liberation struggle, and we have expressed our admiration and solidarity with the resilience of Ukrainian people and uh, leadership of President Zelensky. At the same time, we have condemned uh, Russian invasion and military aggression, uh, but uh, we are uh, well aware that uh, NATO represents security for every of its members. Kosovo is still not a member of NATO, but we have NATO within Kosovo. Uh, towards NATO membership, uh, our goal is to first get into Partnership for Peace program. Uh, NATO turned 73 years old today, and I remember very well uh, 23 years ago when NATO turned 50, was amidst uh, a bombardment of uh, Milosevic, Yugoslavia and Serbia, uh, whose forces, uh, military, police and paramilitary forces, uh, were uh, committing genocide against Albanian people. Back then, uh, 860,000 uh, Albanians were expelled from Kosovo. Uh, over 80% of population were expelled from their homes. We had 20,000 women and girls being raped. Uh, over 12,000 unarmed civilians being uh, killed and uh, 120,000 houses have been destroyed or burned down. So NATO intervened to stop the genocide, and uh, part of the history of Kosovo is NATO. But at the same time, Kosovo is part of the history of NATO. We want to join NATO, and uh, sooner, better. Are you concerned that fear of Russian retaliation will essentially block Kosovo from joining NATO in the short, medium term? I don't think that uh, Russia can block us, uh, yet within NATO we have four non-recognizers of our independence, Spain, Slovakia, Romania and Greece, and I hope that they are going to change their mind and join the rest of 26 members of NATO who recognize independence of Kosovo, and in this way 
uh, enable us to become uh, members of NATO too. Are you preparing for a scenario whereby Sir uh, Serbia sees the conflict in Ukraine as an opportunity, perhaps backed by Russia, to stoke conflict in your region or perhaps even as an excuse to attack your country? Serbia wants European money, Russian guns, Chinese investments and American tolerance. Mm -hmm. But Serbia is not neutral. Serbia is on the side of Russian Federation. That's why we have to be vigilant. They have 42 forward operating bases around Kosovo. We're not afraid. We have added 52% of the budget for our defense. Uh, but at the same time, uh, we have to be very careful because uh, they might play the role of a proxy in the Western Balkans of uh, Russian Federation. At the same time, we never uh, forget that in 2008, when we declared independence on 17th of February, three weeks before that, Gazprom bought majority of shares for oil industry of Serbia. And on the other hand, only six months after, in the same year, 2008, Russian Federation annexed uh, South Ossetia and uh, Abkhazia. Ministry of Defense of Russian Federation has a special office within the Ministry of Defense of Serbia. Mm -hmm. So uh, now, after uh, Russian blitzkrieg in Ukraine failing, we are uh, worried that they might try to spread, expand the conflict, and Western Balkans could be uh, a place where new Russian battlegrounds can develop by their proxies, be that uh, Serbia or Republika Srpska in Bosnia and Herzegovina. Mm. Do you feel confident that your government and your position is secure from Russian interference? Because you are a country that would like to join NATO. I think of Montenegro in, in 2016. Um, are you concerned about government interference? Uh, we have hybrid war in uh, Western Balkans because there is a Russian humanitarian center in Nish in Serbia, only 100 miles far away from Pristina. Uh, at the same time, uh, we have seen that uh, hybrid war is no substitution for war. It is just its preparatory phase. That's why uh, we are worried and vigilant. But again, we are not afraid uh, because uh, with our partners in NATO, especially with the United States, Germany, UK, France and Italy, uh, we know that uh, in Kosovo you do not defend only uh, people of Kosovo, but at the same time, uh, you defend NATO, since NATO is well integrated within architecture of security of our country. And what are you doing to buttress your defences against hybrid warfare or actual warfare in the event of a spillover conflict? Uh, we are increasing our capacities uh, of our army. Uh, the budget for our defense uh, has been increased by 52% for 2022. At the same time, we are increasing the uh, capacities of our police and our intelligence and uh, cooperation with NATO countries. Hungary's Viktor Orban.